It's Biz Pixel, and you about to do part two of making the game on Biz Pixel Lab. I'm here with my guest. Hello. Yeah, she's gangster. She's very gangster. Yay yay. Yay yay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna tell you the little things I've done off air because I made myself a new computer. So it doesn't look different. Do you know what? The inside's different. That's all that matters. All right. Let's Aight. get started. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. So I made the sprites. I did Big's Idol, Big's Walk. Made the sand tiles for the sprites. And then I, what I did was create an, um, an object for the sprite, which is basically the same thing. It's just more of a solid uh, item. Quote, quote. Make sure you say quote, quote. I don't want to quote, quote. They can't see you. I don't want to quote, quote. I don't want to quote, quote. You just did air quote. So what? They need to... Uh, okay, that means sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 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 Alright, so this is the room I uh, created as well. From Not from the last one, but I have to recreate the room. And, uh, and that's basically what's different. So what we're going to jump into now is um, making a character freaking move. All right. So we're going to go to object player. All right. If you guys don't know how to create um, objects, what you do is go to objects folder. You're going to right click and you're going to go create object. And then this little uh, empty file will like pop up right under it. So we're going to go to Big's Idol. Come on, work, baby. All right, all right. So this is basically what our uh, main sprite, our main sprite for the object is, which is, as you see up there, big idol. So what we're gonna do is that uh, we're gonna make a character move. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the creative fin. So this is basically all the code that is activated for the object itself. So basically, if I had a Let's say, actually, I will just, let me just show you instead. All right, so this is your event, this is your creative event, this is the events, and uh, step by step is like every frame or so, it the code plays, and a collision is basically things that, what items or objects it collides with. Um, so we're just gonna make a, f we're gonna make a few variables in the creative event. So if you think about creative and just think about uh, added code, like codes made for the character itself. I don't know how to really describe it. It's more like, um, hmm. it's more like, a, it's like a, if you had a person and a person comes with its own blueprint. So this basically makes the blueprint for a character it's not said and done but it's just like a plan right now let's think of it like that so what i've just put now is graph equal one so what we're going to give the character is gravity so gravity going is basically short for gravity you know and um we're gonna make the character have speed so i'm gonna make uh spd stand for speed and we're gonna set that equal to four What's the numbers represent? The numbers represent the variable. So basically, your variable is basically your placeholder for that number. So graph equal one. So graph is equal to one. Okay. As speed is equal to four. So basically, you, I'll show you how it works after we set up the variables. So JSPD is short for jump speed equal to let's say uh let's give it negative 20. by the way in terms of games when you go when you are on the y i would say the y axis i'm making it all confusing actually i'll tell you guys about that later so i don't confuse you guys all right it's better if I show you an example than me speak it. So, HSPD means hor horizontal speed. VSPD means uh, vertical speed. 
All right. These are the variables that our character will be accessing in order for it to move. So we have all the main components, what we need for our character to start moving. So we're going to click check, get that over with. Oh, actually, let me show you guys one more thing. Oh, I hate that. Ah, oh, it still does it. I can never win. Alright. So, we're going to just call this. Our bigs. Variable movement variables so what I did here was basically made a title made a title exactly made a title you're smart made a title for my cold block my cold system or whatever you guys want to call it and as you see it pops up right here it says bigs movement variables so it's just basically giving a name to your your action yeah, it's good to label things. It's very good to label things. And one more thing. If you add two of these, it will not pop up in your title. It will just give you... You just make a title to show that what that code does. So basically, I could do it like this. This is movement variables. So anybody who accesses the code block will know what these are. It's basically a reference to what these um, variables are or whatever code you have all right show you a little something there just in case if you want to if you're organizing full I'm just kidding if you like to organize your stuff so it's better for you and so right now what we're gonna do is since we set our uh, freaking uh, movement titles, yeah, yeah mo our variables we're gonna start to access them so what we're going to do is call this step event. Step events basically every time your character is on the room, it's step events like every frame by frame. So it's the the code is constantly running continuously. It's not being accessed once like a create event or anything like that. So we're going to go to our step event. Step and then we're going to what? How to add that Get out of here. So <laughs> we're gonna go to our down to <laughs> our code, and we're gonna click this, and we're gonna move it over here. All right, this is called Bigs. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Bigs movement. So what we're gonna do now is set variables, and I'm gonna tell you what they do so I'm gonna write them down and then tell you later what they do <laughs> so actually no I would just do it all together instead <laughs> their R key their R key so what I did right now oh man my allergies are killing me so what I did right now was made a variable called R key var show for variable so we're gonna set this equal to in action which will be keyboard check is, VK right is that to allow the person to use the keyboard to play the game that is correct so variable R key is a variable now what I did was gave that variable a function which is to use the keyboard to use the keyboard yeah, some people get so frustrated down. when the keyboards don't work. <laughs> so variable R key is keyboard check VK right, where it's VK stands for virtual key. Um, so this will make a character move to the right once we code it all together. So are you gonna do it to the left too? Yep, I'm gonna do it to the left. So what you can do is variable L key equal to keyboard mm, check VK left so this is telling me so 
variable L key is the variable we're using, but keyboard check VK left is the function for that variable. You know what I'm saying, Jelly Bean? <laughs> now we're going to create another variable called VAR J key, which is going to be a jump key. And I'm going to set that equal to keyboard check VK up. Oh. <laughs> And bam, baby. And now we got right and left and up. But these key, but these right here, what you see right here, is not accessed. They're basically just variables currently because that's what I set it equal to. So VK up, it means just like if you press up on your keyboard with the keys, you will access that variable J key or whatever. If you, if you hit the left key, it will access the left key. If you hit the right key, it hit the right key. key. Yeah, arrow keys, just in case you guys don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, as you know, what we need that is the most important, I would say, is we need to check for ground. Okay? So, for reference, like I showed you guys before, just to be organized, we're going to check for, for the ground. So, anything that's below us or whatever object is below us that is going to make a character stand on so if i basically if i put this character right now object player into the room that we have uh created it's going to go this is going to slip right through the damn thing because remember we remember our variables that we access we number graph equal one so that means gravity is being accessed and that's what the game knows and so it's going to apply gravity to that character but there's nothing behind below it so it's just gonna fall straight through into oblivion all right so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna access kind of like a collision type of thing so if place meeting look at me i'm a teacher well basically you're teaching me how to game so yeah. you know it <laughs> so y plus one okay why do i do what why did i do y plus one instead of y minus one well the thing about that is that in especially some game engines y minus one will mean you're going up and y plus one means you're going down i don't know why what? yep it's the opposite <laughs> if you guys if you guys are like math majors and and you, and you have done like functions and how absolute value works so basically if you have x plus three and it's an absolute value um function so absolute value of x minus three will basically mean x plus three or x plus three will equal x plus three x minus three x plus three because it'll always be positive but in terms of functions it's always the opposite so if i do absolute value of x plus three it'd be x minus three on the graph so it'll be the opposite you know it's just a, it's just a little I'm doing this little crazy math with you guys i'm just giving you guys an example if you guys know anything about it so right now we got x and y plus one so if place meeting x which is the horizontal piece of the character but if the object is meeting below the character which is y plus one that means what we're going to do is that we're going to access the object obj i mean obj santa zero one Good, good, good. So what we just know is that if place is meeting x of y plus one of object centile zero one. All right, we're gonna set the VSPD, which is the vertical speed, equal to zero. What does this do? What does this do? 
it stops the character from moving. Ooh. Ooh. Be funky chicken. Aww. Funky chicken. All right, so VSPD is equal to zero. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to make a character jump. Yep, are you ready? Jumping into the jumping motion. So, I'm going to reference this and call this jump it. Because, you know, you don't want to be confused with anything. All right. All right, all right, all right. And so now, what we're gonna do is make another if statement, okay? Just like if 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 place meaning x y plus one. That's this is the if statement. This is what what happens if this place is meeting, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing inside of that function, inside of this whole thing. So in order for it to access this function. The statement has to be true. It has to meet the object Santa. So we're going to go if. Ooh, if J key. And then if so, basically, you know what our, va our uh, J key is, which is um, keyboard arrow up. Right. So now we're giving that a, a real function. So if J key, so if you hit the the up arrow key, VSPD will equal to negative JSPD. What does that mean? Your vertical speed will equal to to your um, J speed, which we set to what originally? What did we set it? Our JSPD and our creative event. What did we set it as? Tell me. 20. 20, yes. You don't, you don't remember what we said it to? Listen. How you not remember what we said it to? Shame on you. I'm reading this over. <laughs> you studied? Yeah. All right. So what I did was end it with the bracket to end the whole function inside the statement. So we just, well, we just end that. I mean, look at me. I'm already messing up. I mean. You slacking, bruh. I know I'm slacking real hard. What I meant to say was that we just ended the function with this statement by adding the bracket. All right. So now we're going to officially end the whole if statement by adding another bracket. So this whole function starts. But if you guys know if and else, so basically if this is not true, We're going to put else. Else is basically the opposite of what's happening with the if statement. So now we have an else statement. So we're going to give the else statement a function. So we're going to apply gravity to a character. All right. So if... VSPD is less than 10 VSPD plus equal graph. So basically what we're saying is that once we reach a f certain velocity, our character is going to fall down. Ooh. So now our, v our vertical speed will be equal to a graph. So basically a graph is equal to one. So what's gonna happen is that since it's plus and equal, it increments all the way down, as you could tell, all the way down, starting from one. So it's gonna keep adding one plus one plus one until it meets a certain uh, point. S yeah, I would say code, certain code in there. <laughs> So basically, it's going to keep going down until it meets the if statement again, which will be the place meeting statement. So if place meaning x plus y. So basically, if I jumped right now, the character will fall down 
and it will meet the sand tile again and that will stop the character and bam that's it so basically you have a character who's on a solid 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 baby. all right so we have done that that's all squared away um so what are we gonna do now let's see let's see all right we're gonna start moving our character right and left so we're gonna access the variables that we've just Dude. created yeah so gonna do moving right so if our key wrong, moving wrong so if our key minus zero moving wrong huh is that wrong how do you spell moving oh yeah that's wrong yeah. i was typing too fast leave me alone so if our key which is our arrow key if that's accessed what we're gonna do is gonna go HSPD equal to negative speed. So what's gonna happen is that once you hit the right key, right, variables access variable R key, and it's our HSPD, which is originally zero from the start, is gonna switch to negative four which was our variable that we set in our creative event. So basically, a character starts to move. Oh, my fault. Not negative, because negative would be the opposite direction. So we're going to put positive. it positive. So what we're going to do is, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go moving left. So what I do is usually, it's just control C, pop that bad boy down there, change R key to L key, and speed to negative speed. And bam, baby. <laughs> we got moving right, left, and we got jumping. But there's one thing that you must do. What so you won't that? come. What is that? <laughs> is that. We got to check if. Not moving. So idle, basically, like, not doing anything, just standing there? Yeah, so, this is this is a funky thing. It's like, it's a little tedious. What you have to do is that uh, you have to make sure that when somebody basically hits both keys, it doesn't go crazy and bug out. So, what we're going to do so people don't come across this bug is if... exclamation point which means not our key and not L key what we gonna do or those are the, those are the symbols for or or our key and L key HSPD equal zero. So if not R key and L key or R key and L key, what happened is that our HSPD HSPD is going to be set to zero, so we have no funky bugs. Things will start moving randomly, like a, there's a the damn freaking ghost chasing your character or something like that. <laughs> so that's what happens. So we just set that equal to zero. All right. See what I'm saying? So the next part is annoying. What we need is a horizontal collision. So what happens is that you don't want your character to move through blocks or anything like that. I mean, we we basically set a jumping. It's basically similar to our, our uh, if place meeting event for jumping. So um, uh, so what we could do is set this to move horizontally. 
but we're gonna make it work all together. I mean, we're gonna have this horizontal collision so that they know what is hitting what and so bugs do not happen. It's another thing that prevents bugs. So what happens is that if place meeting X plus HSBD. So starting from point X and uh, let's see and Y of OBJ, which is object Centau zero and one. while so what the while means basically a loop so it keeps on playing and playing as long as the statement is true so while not place meaning x plus sign so sign is basically like uh plus and minus could go either way and uh hspd y obj obj <laughs> obj give me that obj baby it sounds like something uh, yeah let's not talk about that <laughs> <laughs> So basically what I'm saying is place meeting the sand tile at X plus HSB of HSPD. It acts as while not place meeting X plus sign HSPD Y OBJ sand tile zero one. We're going to make the character move. So, how do you get a tissue to dance, Miles? Do you know what these corny jokes of yours? Put a boogie on it. Oh, don't you? <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you guys what this code is all about, basically. So what happening here is if place meaning x plus hsp by of obj centile zero one. So if this if this is meeting the the solid object to the right or left of the character, what's gonna happen is that's gonna access the access this code. So if this statement is true, x plus sign, this is gonna make the character ultimately move. Get what I'm saying? So, if it's if it's not meeting the object to the left or right of the character, the character is gonna move. But if it meets left or right of the character, it will stop. Huh? So I'll, I'll just show you guys to make this simple. So, whoop. We're gonna move horizontally. This is just to make sure that um, the character is still in motion after those are true. This is, this is a little complicated to explain, so I might as well just show you guys how it works. All right, so we're gonna hit that, and we're gonna try to make sure we don't have any bugs. So we're gonna go to our room, we're gonna go to object, and bam, we're gonna put a character in there. Oh, that's the guy that we created. Yeah. <laughs> And then uh, I'm going to put that down, and I'll tell you guys what's going on here. Oh, my Lord, what is going on? My gravity's not being accessed for some reason. All right. This is no good. No good at all. Let's try to see what's going on here, what we did wrong. So we can go back to... That's weird. We access the graph. Gravity equal... Oh, did we know we didn't do? What? That's why it's acting like that. We didn't set our vertical collision. Oh, so, no. let's set that. 
So we make sure things actually work. Probably made a silly mistake in our code. But we'll fix that. So for my horizontal collision, we're just going to copy and paste. And then we're going to change the signs. All right. So instead of X plus HSBD, we're going to take that out. We're going to do Y plus VSBD. Instead of HSBD, put VSBD. Instead of X plus equal sign, we're gonna do X plus equal VSPD, VSPD, and H plus, uh, HSPD equals zero, we're gonna do VSPD equals zero. And then we're gonna set this to VSPD plus equal. So it constantly is moving vertically down. Let's see if this works. <laughs> Horizontally. Okay. Let's see if this is right. I'm gonna test it out. See what's going. Check with the check. Ah. Ah. There you go. <laughs> like, bye. No, we did something wrong. <laughs> oh no. No good. So as you know, there's a there's a little problem in our code here. I probably uh try to figure this out. It's Y plus VSPD while not place meeting VSPD. Oh, we didn't do that. <laughs> see this little mistakes. All right, let's try this. Let's see if that works. There you go. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so what I just did basically was I set the vertical collisions and basically I set the physics for the game. Simple. Set the physics for the game by adding horizontal collisions and vertical collisions. So if place is not meeting X, for example, if 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 the if you're not meeting the tile to the left or right, your character when you hit the L key or R key, it will it would keep going. But if it's not meeting that requirement, it would stop. Okay. So basically, the vertical collision is the same thing. So if nothing is, I would say, if nothing's below it. It will keep going down. This will be access. This will keep going down until it meets the sand tile, which will be a ground check. So it access the code that we recently placed over here and we set that VSPD equal to zero. Bam, baby. We got simple movements. All right. So we're going to play this again. I'm going to show you guys. So, so what's happening right now is that I can't move. Do you know why I can't move? Why? It's because our, our collision is off. So, what we're going to do is going to access our object player. Alright. Well, what you really have right here. Duh. And, um, what's happening... I mean, our sprite. My fault. What's happening is that our character is getting stuck inside of the ground. No good. So... We're going to put precision collision checking and separate collision mask on. So we make sure we have precise uh, collision events going on. So we're going to set this to how about uh, 18 and see if that works. So we're just going to play it again. See if that works. Nope. It got to be a higher number than that. Got to do 20 now. Let's see if that L key works. Nope. nope. How about like 25, 26? 25. Let's try 25. And we still have this damn thing right here. Alright. Let's try 25. Nope. Wow. Dang. I'm not winning. So if, if that's telling me that, then I might as well go down to 12 and see what happens. Huh. Strange, 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 strange little things. I have to find... So what you're going to do is try to find that sweet spot. So... Wow, this is bad. 
So guys, we're gonna be right back. And so basically, what we have to do is find a sweet spot between um, the Y and make sure it works. Because what happening is that the sprite is getting stuck inside of the tile. So what we're trying to do is try to find that little sweet spot. So if you have your own character, what you want to do is trying to find your own little sweet spot. So your character is levitating above the, the tile or object you have. And uh, so you guys could make the character move. So I'll be right back so I don't waste you guys time on here. Alright guys, sorry for that. Like I told you guys before, it was a silly mistake. Alright, so what happened was that for the collision event, I forgot to change, instead of uh, Y plus sine, I did Y, I did X plus <laughs> sine VSVD when it's supposed to be the other way around, it's supposed to be Y plus sine VSVD. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Also, I have added keyboard check press, press. so just in case, if you, you press the key, um, your character will jump but it, and it will just jump and uh when it's pressed so basically if i hold down that key i'll probably keep going up and up and up and up and up and up and up to the sky we don't want that to happen so it has to be pressed um so that was the little mistake i made obviously how to go through the court i was like oh i think i got something wrong but it's, it's also those small little things that'll mess up everything so what I'm going to do is going to play the game and show you guys the results. We got a... Uh, we got a little character moving right now. Right. Left. And bam, baby. We got it moving. But, for some reason... It doesn't uh, go up. It doesn't go up. So now we have to go back into a code and figure out what's going on. So if, how about this, if VK space, so we're going to set that down to negative. So instead of doing negative JSPD, we're just going to change that to JSPD. And then we're going to jump into our create event and set that to 20 instead. Oh, no, not my fault. Um, what I'm doing Ah, uh, that's what was happening. Made a silly mistake over there too. So it's uh, it's always good to debug. You know that that's one of the you know things you have to do when you start messing with these codes. You gotta learn how to debug. Test, debug, test, debug, test, debug. It's trial and error, and that's what basically what what life is all about when you do developing games. Trial and error. There, there you go. You go. So, so what I did was just set that back to, um, I just changed it around a little bit. And bam, there you go. We got moving right, left, and we got jump by hitting space. And that is all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like, share, subscribe. And if you got any more questions... Stay tuned to the next video. Nah, nah, nah. nah. They got to write in the comment <laughs> section. They got to write in the comment section. So write in the damn comment section if you got any questions. <laughs> I'm just going to switch. <laughs> no, but please do. I will get to you guys. All right. Well, peace out, baby. Bye. Baby. <laughs> Welcome. And I am this picture. Sorry, I'm a little bit off there. And I'm here with a guest. And uh, today, we're going to make a game.